So Ooh. that is the work of ancestral healing, moving that trauma out of our body, acknowledging it. Wow, grandma, is this your, is this your grief? This must have been really hard for you. And then moving, I say I'm a living ancestor or I'm a grandcestor. I've, I don't know. I just thought of that word, but moving like the ancestor that was having that pain so that they can get it out. And once we do this more often, we are actually changing our, our epigenetics. So I kind of say, it's like, if you, you know, the lights go off the breakers, you, you've like turned off the breakers cause you have too many things going anxiety, right? Mm -hmm. So your breakers are off in your house. Literally you go to the backyard, you find the breaker and I mean, you're a firefighter, so maybe you understand. When I go to the breaker, I'm like, what is this? If it's not labeled, right? I just see like this switch is up and this switch, right? Think about our epigenetics as our breaker. And when we go see it, this anger switch is like off the hinges. It's fizzling. It's, it's been ready. Um, fear, scarcity, all these switches might be turned on in me, like up. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's why I'm reactive. That's why I, people please. So in order to flip the switches down, because it's evolutionary, you got to be in the opposite, be in more joy, be in rest, rest that our ancestors didn't get to have. Do the things that they needed to do to process that grief in an ancestral way, drumming, singing, chanting, um, humming, cooking their ancestral foods. So moving in that way. And that is how we can move our epigenetic trauma into ancestral healing and radical joy.